Hi, let's now discuss one of the best practice tips in designing fact and dimension tables. As we know, in any fact table, we have set of columns representing measures and set of columns representing dimensions. In case you have some records with a dimension foreign key has no value or has null value, you should replace null value with a default value. And to understand why, let's take this example. In this fact table, we are tracking sales by customers. So we have shop ID, we have employee ID, customer ID, sales, which is the amount of money paid by the customer, and currency. And we have a promo ID, which indicate if the purchase operation was using a promo code or a package code or not, to give customer a specific percentage of discount. As we see here, we have two records with null promo ID or null promo code, which is normal because not all operations will have a promo ID. And we have a dimension for promo codes, which has all promo code details like frame of promo code, discount percentage, valid from and valid to, as we discussed in dimensions tables. Now, if we are going to generate report based on measures exist in this fact table, and let's say we are going to generate a report to show us revenue distributed by promo code. So we have first promo, three days promo, and weekend promo, and we can see big percentage of revenue is coming from null promo code. When you deliver such a report to a decision maker or an executive level, he may not understand what is the meaning of null value because null value is a technical term. And when you are presenting a report to show some KPIs, you need to make sure that all terms in the report or in the dashboard are business terms. And as we see, null term is a very technical term. So in this case, we need to replace null value and put a default value for this promo code in case purchase operation has no promo code. So how we are going to do this? In our dimension table, we will insert a new record to represent default value, and we will give it a fixed ID. And of course, we will insert all default values for promo details. For example, we will choose, in case we don't have a promo, the name of the promo code will be no promo, or we can call it no package. Discount percentage will be zero, and we will choose some values for valid from and valid to. And we will insert default values for other attributes in this dimension. So by using our ETL process, in case we don't have a promo code for this purchase operation, we will insert the promo ID for the default no promo value. So in this case, if we are going to generate the same report again, we can see now instead of null value, we have no promo value, which is a term can be understood by any non-technical person that most of revenue is coming from purchase operation without using a promo code. So best practice, don't put null values and dimensions foreign key, and instead of that, put a default value for this dimension. So in case you don't have value for this specific dimension, just insert the ID of the default value. 